Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our FTB Interactions series. And I am just taking a look at what we can do with the Grains of Infinity. I think I'm going to melt a couple down, get Liquid Nightmares, and then turn that into... I was like, what was that? Tormented Enderman Head. I haven't seen that before. Uh, yeah, turn it into Infinity Dust so I can go... Uh, attack some endermen for our deep learner because as we found out last episode i didn't even know this was a thing um apparently we have to level these up a little bit um i'm assuming we need six because we can't unfortunately cannot run these in the data mod the thing won't run because they are considered faulty so yeah didn't know that was a thing i haven't seen that before uh, my only i've used this in omni factory but that was definitely not i don't know if that's like a config or what but uh yeah so i guess we'll do i'm gonna need a whole bunch i think you know why don't we just do well a whole on like we'll do four that's 36 grains of affinity i think and uh that Yeah, cuz I I really don't think I've actually seen any Enderman spawn to be honest. I don't know if that's actually like disabled. I haven't it's not something I've like really been looking at. Oh, of course, these aren't necessarily Is this Is that always going to be a thousand? I actually don't know. Because the aquamarines and stuff was like a random amount. It's pretty funny that. No, okay. So yeah, it is like a random amount. We can get like way more. And we're getting a lot of liquid nightmare from that. I don't know if I'm like, does that affect how much we actually get? I actually don't know. Like, does that? I don't think it messes with it because it just looks like it's. I guess it's like it has a random chance to break. And the longer it's in there, chance goes up. But maybe that is... I feel like... <laughs> yeah. It does seem like we're getting... I mean, that's only two. Right? We put two in there and we got... All that? That was a lot. Oh well. Well, we do need Liquid Nightmare moving forward. Um, I did see a... We can get a Bloody Chicken. We get Infinity Reagents. Can't quite get that because we don't have HV yet, but we're not that far off HV anyway. But uh, this will get us these Blood Apples. And we can actually melt that down. We get a Life Essence. I mean, I guess that wouldn't be terrible, would it? I mean, it's such a small amount. That's the only issue. But again, if we get these crazy chickens, I don't know. Maybe that's, I didn't even, this is not even anything I sort of remotely thought about. I was like, oh, we'll just do it in the digital mob agonizer thing. And this is how we'll get. But I'm thinking this would actually be almost easier. It wouldn't require plastic and clay and stuff. Ah, we don't have Demon Will yet, though. So, yeah, not quite there. And as usual, you do need the whatever resource the chicken gives. You do need that to create the chicken in the first place. So, yeah, we're still going to need to do that. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll just... I need to... Right, I need to do this. I don't have a thing over here, do I? Fluid solidifier? No, I didn't think I did. Yeah, it's the mold nuggets. I guess I'll just, I don't know. Is there anything I need? Well, we'll get a whole bunch of, we'll get a whole bunch of Grains of affinity from using these grains of affinity anyway, so yeah. 
Uh, we can always get more liquid nightmare, I think. Is there anything else we can use at the moment for this? Hmm, interesting. It's kind of like, it's fun seeing some of these recipes. I, it's not anything I've ever like looked up before. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Uh, and I haven't... Tungsten? Demon Wilker? What? <laughs> uh, I haven't even... Yeah, I don't even know. Um, but let's focus on getting some... I think... Yeah, let's get these leveled up. At least do the Enderman. I guess. And the Blaze. We know where we can get Blazes. Just killing them is a bit of a pain. Man, that is a lot. Now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe I don't need that many. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's... We have 63. Um, I'll hold on to this. And uh, I can always make more if necessary. I think I'll get six Endermen from 63 of that. But, um, I mean, I guess it's not guaranteed, but... All right, so I guess let me, yeah, I'll just do, I do need a couple more potions. Lots and lots of potions. Isn't there something with regen too? Some item we can wear with regen, I can't remember. I feel like I read that somewhere. That would be easier than using potions, or was it like, Oh, I think it was Thomcraft. Isn't there like a Thomcraft thing with that claw? Whatever the heck it's called. I don't remember. But I think you can get regen, like as a spell, which would be a bit easier. And potion, but... Anyway, I guess... Uh... I'll do three at a time, and we'll... Yeah, we'll come back, and we'll see. I believe... Oh yeah, look at that. It's a six to go. Faulty model. Uh, does this need to be... Does this... Does this need to be like in my... One in main hand or off hand? Alright, I guess we need to probably leave it... I don't know. I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. But uh, yeah, let me wait this out a little bit and we'll come back. And we are back, and you may notice a giant hole over there. Well, we got a thing of TNT, a lit thing of TNT. So, yeah, that uh, that just happened. Um, like I said, there is a ritual, according to the thing, but um, I have no idea how that ritual works. Uh, I did just kill a Enderman. Need to do that so it doesn't spread. Uh, we did get two pearls, so yeah, there we go. It does count. I don't know if it needs to be in the offhand, but there we go. Five to go. So all right. Um, yeah, be careful with <laughs> the the TNT. Um, I wonder if like uh, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll just here. Let's just. I was thinking, I'm like, we could build, like, a explosion-proof thing. I could also look up that, called it, what is it, calling ritual something from a mod I've never used before. Apparently that disables the TNT. I just wish it didn't break the glass. The glass is a bit more annoying. What was, let me look that up really quick. What was, it was, I can even remember. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't remember where. <laughs> no clue where that thing where it said something about the infinity dust. Blood magic, no. Sorcery. No, I can't remember. I'll see if I can find it and see what it says. I can't, so I can figure out what uh, that ritual thing is. And I may die here. <laughs> Apparently, the Infinity Dust leaves 
Did it get trapped on that thing? Uh, apparently, the Infinity Dust has a chance to turn in... Uh, turn regular stone into silverfish things as we can see so I just I was I, I was making this a bit bigger and uh, yeah that uh, I can hear them yeah there you are as we can see there is actually quite a lot yeah look how many I don't know if this is all from the I think this is from the Infinity Dust. I could be wrong, though. But, uh, yeah, that was a rather large amount. And you can see which one it is because it takes longer to break. All right, but that didn't do anything. Yeah, so... Figured I'd try to make this bigger. Make the roof maybe a bit taller. I don't know. I haven't, like, looked up what is the best way to use this as a farm? Because there is some like hints in the quest book to set up a farm for this. So yeah, I don't know. I was just thinking if the dust like flies up a bit, maybe they'll spawn and then drop down out of the dust because it was kind of killing them. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So. We'll do that and uh i don't know we'll just <laughs> we'll just continue um i also did find it it is under hv chemistry it's right here automating infinity the calling ritual from animus apparently that is an add-on to blood magic so it's basically like a blood magic ritual which we are <laughs> nowhere near that yet but uh all right still uh Still trying to get this. I thought it would kind of float up more. Eh, it's sort of, but still kind of learning the mechanics of this stuff. But now I can't. Come here. I can't go in there and get a. I'll wait. Oh, we got a couple. All right. Well, that's spawning much better. I just don't want them to die from the dust. And I. Oh, there we go. Come get me. No! No! I need to kill you! No! No! Oh, now we're getting all the uh, Endermen here. And something just broke the glass. <laughs> Was that me? Did I do the glass? Alright, but uh, yeah, I guess doing it that way made that a lot easier to get. What? Also, what is that bell? <laughs> I keep hearing a bell ring, like, uh, when I... Is that from... Oh, oh god, oh god! Totally forgot there was that right there. Holy cow. Um, I did think about getting a magnet as well. <laughs> I think you can do that to destroy it. Alright, I just want to pick that up. All right, well, we got... What did we get there? Four? Did that... Like, did that destroy blocks above my head? That's a little scary. I don't want silverfish dropping on me. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess two to go, and then we can get this going. All right, we got dancing, flying Endermen here. <laughs> This is definitely, uh, all right. Well, that did, did I not get the, I might have not got the final. I did not got the final thing in there. Let's kill this guy, though. Yeah, what's that like? It's almost like ticking, not ticking. It's like, it sounds like a bell. I need to close that up. Don't come out. All right, and there is a couple more ender pearls in there, but we got nine. I'll have to wait for that to dissipate. Yeah, I think a magnet would probably help. Or a vacuum hopper. Maybe a vacuum hopper. Or a vacuum. This thing is usually pretty easy to make. Yeah, LV. That's super easy to make. I probably should have 
cut that. Although the it doesn't seem like it makes it doesn't hurt that bad. It just it makes you bounce all over the place. All right, well we got it. Yeah. So next time, if I have to do that, definitely get a vacuum something. But uh, all right, we just leveled up our thing there. Thought for a second there was Enderman swimming there. So I think that means I can put this in there now since it's basic. Yep, basic. Wait, what did that say? Data per kill. You get four. You can level up. You want to do it manually, but I don't think I'm going to do it manually. I think we can just throw it in. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now it's running. And that will slowly build up. We'll get the extraterrestrial... Yeah, we'll get the extraterrestrial matter, which we can use. I don't have spawner shards, but uh, yeah, we can use that for. Oh, that's how you get end steel. Interesting. Yeah, this stuff has like that. Just being able to do that is pretty fun. Experience, Ender Air, Ender Biotite, but uh, yeah. I don't know what we are training with power, though. All right. Yeah, we're not producing enough power. All right. Um, I should probably... It's because that... I don't know the... I'm not sure what the conversion is. Usually it's... What is it? Usually divided by two. So we're probably using 256 EU per tick. So, yeah, we're definitely not producing enough power. So I can't run this a whole lot, but it's cool to get it finally going. Um, and as it, obviously, as it levels up, we will get a better chance of getting the, in this case, the pristine Enderman. Yeah, pristine Endermatter. So basic is a 5% chance, 11, 24. 42 so it gets much much higher there we go um i don't know if i want to keep this running I, I don't know um the blaze if i go kill some blaze actually does less power so that's only 256 and hellish is also really good that'll let us get blaze rods nether wart soul sand Pretty cool um but i think i want to get this crafted up so i'm actually going to let's pull that out um i don't want to keep this running just because we're draining power as we saw and unfortunately we did not get a, another one but that's actually cool i didn't know you could actually level these up that is pretty cool if i wanted to level it up manually i could just go kill some endermen but yeah we're not gonna <laughs> spend time with that um yeah, let me get everything crafted up for this thing. Digital mob agonizer thing. Uh, where was... And if I can... Blood magic, blood magic. Right there. All right, so it is open up. We have everything already, so... Red alloy cable. Study marble. Marble with some coal. Easy enough. Thaumium. Demonic will. That's annoying. All right, so the only annoying thing is the demonic well. Um, I believe we have... We do have those things, though, don't we? Where? We have gotten demonic will before. I'm pretty sure... What are those? Man, what is the... The thing you throw at the string or... Snare? Snare? Yeah, snare. Rudimentary snare. Thought I had some. They might be all the fun in the world. I might have left it upstairs in a chest in the old base way up there. Um, all right, uh, let me get this stuff done and we'll come back. All right, I'm back over here and I got some snares. That's not good. 
<laughs> yep, there we go. There is the TNT. Does that make them fly away? Ah, does Ender does it not work on Enderman? I have a feeling it probably doesn't work on Enderman. Dang it! Oh god. Well, we got demonic will. Okay, apparently it does work on <laughs> it does work on Enderman. All right, well we got our demonic will. Um, but man, those aren't very pleasant. Although it didn't do too much damage. Now that we have some better gear, but yeah, that was kind of cool. We got to see the the thing. I think I think the like the little spots that are disappearing. I think that's silverfish going in the walls. Actually, I think that is. So I'm just not going to break any of that stuff. I'll just leave it there. Should I throw a thing in there? Probably. Go. I'm sure we'll come back here. Again. Um, but there is our demonic will. Wow, that's... We got five demonic will in there. That's pretty cool. It looks like we are not going to be crafting up a sentient sword for... <laughs> a little while unfortunately uh usually i like to craft that up as soon as possible but looking at the thing here it's after the hellfire forge and the hellfire forge requires a weak blood orb um and then we actually need an altar before we can do that so we need demonic will lair so and then we're going to need the blood in the thing so I'm going to have to get more Demonic Will. I crafted up 24 snares, but uh, at least with this we can go ahead and get the... I mean, that wasn't... that really wasn't that bad. This sword actually is pretty decent. So is that... yep, there we go. Yeah, I don't know... I still haven't, I don't, I think, I feel like this is going to be our main source of, I don't know if we're going to do this, the chicken root, or, I don't know, life essence, I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll see when we kind of, like, need lots and lots of it, but, uh, also, I like the ender pearls being, like, 100% drop, but once we get one pristine enderman, we're, we're good on ender pearls, we're, all right, come on, there we go. And there is the quest. Now, it does kind of seem like it's kind of like the intended route. It's all like right here. The digital mob organizer takes a programmed data module and optionally a catalyst. The better the catalyst, the higher the data model and the more blood it will produce for the linked altar. Adding runes to sacrifice will increase the amount of blood the organizer uses at well. Also, I did see a really cool... All right, we got some Spectre Coils from crafting up that CEU, but where is it? It's up here. No. Uh, for killing Endermen, we actually got a Void Hunter sword. So that's something to look at. I just remembered that. Better than that? I don't know if that's better. I'll have to take a look at that. I don't know what all the things do. Like portly gentlemen, interference. I'm assuming interference means they can't teleport away. I don't know though. But all right, there is that. Where are we? Who? Right. I don't even know what. <laughs> what? How do we transfer power? I have no idea. Uh, is it just ender conduits. Would that be? Six hundred forty though. That's a bit better. Uh, can't do that yet, though. Um, is there like flux ducts? No. I don't. Yeah, I don't even know how to like. I was like, I don't even know how to transfer thing. We did just get a specter coil, which lets us, yeah, generate some power. Let me. Yeah, let me figure out, I guess, yeah, I guess conduits would probably be, yeah, that makes sense. So what is that, iron and, 
I actually don't even know. We'll just do this. Yeah. Put that in there. What? Nope. Envy. No! <laughs> Alright. I wonder if there's an easier way to... Another way to... I could just... You know what? Just while I'm... Do this. I'm going to move it over one. Basically just until I can get this upgraded. I just... I think I just lost my... My wrench as well. I'll probably do Manus. Yeah, I don't know. Need some more steel. Also, we are not producing any oxygen because this is full of hydrogen, so I gotta figure that out as well. Alright, that was that, and then need one mana steel. There's a CEU. Oof. It's a bit. The CEU is a bit. LV is a bit small. But there we go. There is that. And then no data module, no linked altar. Use the altar linker to link this machine to an altar. All right. So I don't. All right. So I don't think it like fills up in like a. I don't know if there's like a tank. I think, does it just go directly into, does it go directly into a, uh, an altar? All right, um, altar. What are we, what's we, what are we locked behind? Rock wall, I think we're locked behind. Is that what it is? Yes, yeah, so we got, yeah, light gray rock wall. Rock wool is wool, gravel, sand, and a mixer. Gravel. I love how I'm still using the transmutation tablet. Is that is that normal <laughs> that I'm still using that? I have some wool there. Mixer. Yeah, right here. Speed that up a tad. And that will be... Oh, I need to turn it into... Oh, there it is. Light gray walk roll. And that will get us eight. And that opens up... Blood altar. Alright, so I need another demonic will. We got our lock wall, wall, and I need... We got blaze rods, I believe. I do need a wither skeleton skull. So that is something. But we get one from crafting up this sword. All right. Um, unfortunately, we are running out of time here. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, get this crafted up, and then... We'll come back next episode. We are getting some runes and heart canisters, so that's really cool. And then, what are we looking at here? Soot cover plates, red alloy, higher red zone. Yeah, all this stuff is... Uh, we're actually doing pretty well here with a lot of this stuff, but I do need to get this crafted up. So I'm going to have to go get some rock crystals. I believe they spawn. I could be wrong, though. Um, I do see them over here, but I don't think I don't think they're locked behind that because we're gonna need. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to look into that. Maybe they are rock crystals locked behind. Is it locked behind like that? Oh, maybe that's that. Um, that ritual, that mining ritual. Is that how you get these? I actually don't know. All right, well, I'll have to do a little bit of searching for Rock Crystal. And then uh, I think next episode, yeah, we'll get the Blood Altar set up. And, man, I still need to upgrade our power a little bit here. 
as we saw we were draining it pretty fast as we were running that but uh anyway that's gonna be it for this episode so thanks for watching and have a good one